the House Collective. <laughs> Sarah Bino. Jackie Donna. Blackmore. Well, Donna Suarez. Nita Bowerman. Get her a goddamn Perrier and shut your pie hole. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> love it. I love the pie hole. I miss the pie hole. <gasps> the sounding Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> I love this image. It's so hard to curl your own eyelashes. I get it. <laughs> Those are awesome. We're excited. What about? No. Okay, so we. Oh, forget it. No, I don't think that was a very good idea. How many more hours do we have? 47? 47. 47. So far, I've got um, that. Oh, that's good, because I've got Oh, that. oh, okay, good. Well, you know, you got to start somewhere, right? Break. So pat Break. ourselves on our back. Good job. Break. Hey, ladies. I'm so glad you could join me. Of course. Thanks for having us. Glad to be here. If this is really, truly the end, I want to spend it with you girls. Aw, thanks, Donna. Are you kidding? This is the highlight of my day. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Uh, how's the time? Uh, 10 minutes to go. Okay, better get started. Okay, blankets ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let the confessions begin. I scream into a void. No one can hear me. We're all locked in our solitary cages. Scared to touch each other. Scared to breathe the same air. Scared even to look at each other. Was that you avoiding me? Or was I avoiding you? She walks by me and she makes eye contact. She smiles. I smile and keep walking. But then I turn back. I realize you can't see me smile under the mask. Hello. I'm with my family and they can drive me crazy. But what kind of crazy would I be without them? I have my good days and I have my bad days. I have stretches of productivity and stretches with no capacity to do anything beyond streaming K-dramas. I have moments where I lash out at those around me. Get her a goddamn Perrier and shut your pie hole. And moments when I breathe in the magnolia and think, it's all going to be okay. I fear for those that are being left behind, those with no access to food or to safe shelter. I hope when this is all over, they will rebuild a world that is based on equality, a world that is beautiful for everyone to live in. The last time I hugged someone was March 12th. That's like 41 days ago. 41 days without human touch. It was Mike from the gym. I saw him at the grocery store in the parking lot. He had five packages of toilet paper. That jerk hole. He swept me up into this sweaty hug and I smelt his Axe body spray on my jacket for days after. Remember when he said that thing about my face? <laughs> he was squatting and he looked right at me and he said, has anyone ever told you that your face isn't symmetrical? Who does that? <laughs> How long have you been staring at my face, numb nuts? 
I mean, most of us have asymmetrical faces. Symmetrical faces are the freaks. Ugh. Why did that have to be the last human contact I had? I miss hugs. I miss massages. I miss handshakes. My neighbor keeps burning stuff and smoking up my apartment. Last night, the smoke alarm went off at 1 a.m. Who bakes at 1 a.m.? I just gotten to sleep too. I had a dream that I was living in the bell jar, not like a bell jar, but you know, the book by Sylvia Plath. I couldn't read or sleep or work and they just locked me away. I was alone and it was so quiet, definitely quiet. And I felt like I was observed, you know, like they thought I was mad. Okay, I was told to name five nice things that happened. So um, I found a MAC lipstick that I thought I lost six months ago. Um, even though I keep waking up way earlier than normal, I got to see the sun pour into my kitchen and it just made everything look so beautiful. One of my customers found me online and email transferred me $100 just to say that they were thinking of me, that they couldn't wait for the next Margarita Monday. I had a nap and um, my neighbors got a puppy. It's eight weeks old and his name is Buster. I'm fine. I'm fine. I actually have nothing to confess. I have no secrets. I am morally pristine. Well, of course, that's a lie. Look, for sure, I've heard a lot of people over the years, sometimes because I was young and afraid, sometimes because I was self-absorbed and arrogant, and sometimes because I was hurt. And I hated myself. These examples of my shortcomings, my contradictions of character, and all too human hypocrisies, I will carry with me through the end of days. What I'll tell you now is that I've been wearing these pajamas since we were told that the world might end. I can't remember how long it's been since I've had someone in my bed, and... I'm really not as kind as I make myself out to be when the sun is shining and there's sure to be another day. But is there ever sure to be another day? There are no guarantees in life. Everything you think you have could be gone in the blink of an eye. The contract we've made with living is that one day we will all die. It's inescapable. I guess that makes it all the more pressing to strive to become the person I hope to be, to treat people with dignity and respect, to allow myself to be vulnerable with the people I love, to learn how to trust a little bit more and forgive more, and to hold myself accountable, to cultivate an awareness of the struggles of others and to shatter stigma and judgment wherever it might arise. Oh, and to eat the rich to feed the poor. If we have any time left, that's what I'd like to bring into the new world. I miss restaurants. I miss diners. I miss pie. Mmm, pie. So to give myself something to do instead of crawling up the walls during quality quarantine, I bake pie, mixing it, churning it, rolling it, boiling it, laying it out, perfecting my flaky buttery crust, then stewing, sugaring, and sweating down the ripe fruit to its tender surrender, and finally, baking it all in the oven until it turns golden brown. Every day I bake a pie 
and every day my pies get more delicious. I want to share them with someone, but I live alone. I've offered them to my friends, my neighbors, the guy who sits on the sidewalk outside shoppers. Their eyes light up when they hear the word pie, virus. Pie, virus, no thanks. Today is my 49th day in isolation. And this, my 49th pie. Mm. Mm. What's that buzzing sound? My vibrator. What? Don't judge me. This is my isolation and not yours. Thanks for sharing. sharing. <laughs> uh, so how much time do we have left? Two minutes. Oh boy. Okay, let's get ready for the apocalypse. The apocalypse. I don't feel ready, guys. I don't think we're ever gonna be ready. I'm glad we're here together. Yeah. Just um, getting some ideas for my apocalypse costume here. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. Cool. Ooh. What Whoa. Is okay, so we've definitely entered into the weird part of the internet. Yeah. Whoa, what is that? Gosh, come dance with me for the end of the world, please. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. It's the end of the world as we know it. Dance until the world ends. We're gonna party like it's 1999. It's the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. No, 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 ladies, ladies, ladies. It's, it's the final countdown to the end. 10 more seconds. Thanks for being here. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks. I love you all. Goodbye, world. Five, four, four three, two, Phew! <sighs> that was a close one. Oh, oh, I think we're getting better at this. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, let's rehearse the end of the world again tomorrow. Sounds good. Okay. Bye! Bye! Yeah, that was awesome. House Collective, uh, digital round of applause, of course. Uh, could you introduce yourselves and uh, let, yeah, let us know everything about you? I'm Jackie Blackmore. I'm Donna Hi, Suarez. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> in an order. You, that's too Definitely live. <laughs>
and we are the house collective all right awesome um so uh my question i'm curious what how much of that was based on truth uh, in particular the four monologues at the beginning uh there were so many interesting details there and i wondered if dave from the gym is a real guy or or i, I wonder no no okay. mike dave is real mike, oh, mike. is not <laughs> however i am indeed morally pristine so that was actually the truthful part of my monologue so there is some truth yeah <laughs> you know um, what margaret atwood says take the shiny bits of life yeah that was that was a uh, that was all the shiny bits put into 12 minutes there um fantastic it, it was so great uh and, and totally different than the the past one you know it's it's uh every single group uh tackled the challenge in a different way um is there are, are the group of you working uh together again um hopefully this is our first time we all met being front house managers for the, at performance works theater where this was originally supposed to be staged but hopefully when things get back to normal and, and the theaters are back up and um, running again we'll be on stage again hopefully together awesome yeah yeah absolutely i hope so too um okay so uh one more digital round of applause for the house collective 